10 in ones of ways to use apples. Make an easy craft for kids. If you are ever babysitting or with your own kiddo and find that they are bored or whining, try and making stamps with apples. All you have to do is get some paint or ink, preferably washable or water-based, cut the apple in half, dip the inside and press it on construction paper or cloth. You can experiment with all sorts of colors and create patterns making the simple arts activity a fun one. Check out the steps to make a stamper from fruits and vegetables. Give your core a workout. Put some extra punch in your crunch by placing an apple between your thighs and squeeze it while you do your crunches. Trying to hold the apple in place will make you work your hip flexors and adductors in addition to your abs. Hate crunches? This one trait could be the secret to a flatter stomach. Keep cakes fresh. Want a simple and effective way to extend the shelf life of your homemade or store-bought cakes? Store them with a half an apple. It helps the cake maintain its moisture considerably longer than merely popping it in the fridge. Seasoned bakers will also be surprised by the baking mistakes you are probably making. Absorb salt in soups and stews. Salt in the taste is one thing, but it's possible to overdo it. When you find yourself getting heavy-handed with a salt shaker, simply drop a few apple or potato wedges in your pot. After cooking for another 10 minutes or so, remove the wedges along with the excess salt. Save your salt for any of these clever salt uses. Give yourself a mini facial. Apples are great when it comes to reducing inflammation and the appearance of fine wrinkles. All you have to do, peel an apple and grate the core and then apply it to your skin. Let it sit for about 15 minutes and rinse it off with warm water. Apples aren't the only fruit that has more than one use. Oranges pack more than a punch of vitamin C with their surprising uses. You can use an apple a day in more than one way. Apples are one of the most versatile fruits to cook and eat, but sometimes you buy just one too many. Don't let that produce go to waste. There are so many other uses for apples that you've probably never heard of. Read on for some of the inventive ways to use apples besides eating them. Ripened green tomatoes. How's that? You just became the proud owner of a bunch of green tomatoes? No sweat. You can quickly ripen them up by placing them along with an already ripe apple in a paper bag for a couple of days. For best results, maintain a ratio of about 5 or 6 tomatoes per apple. One strategy for how to ripen an avocado also involves apples. Fluff up hardened brown sugar. Brown sugar has an irritating habit of hardening up when exposed to humidity. Fortunately, it doesn't take much to make this a temporary condition. One of the best uses for apples is to soften brown sugar. Simply place an apple wedge in a self-sealing plastic bag with a chunk of hardened brown sugar. Tightly seal the bag and put it in a dry place for a day or two. Your sugar will once again be soft enough to use. Try these other food storage tricks to make food last longer.
roast a juicy chicken. If your roasted chicken tends to emerge from the oven as dry as a snow boot on a summer's day, don't fret. The next time you roast a chicken, stuff an apple inside the bird before placing it in the roasting pan. When it's done cooking, toss the fruit in the trash and get ready to sit down to a delicious and juicy main course. Follow this menu to hold the best Thanksgiving ever. Clean your oily hair. If you ever find that your hair seems to be more oily than usual, put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and a pint of water and rinse it through your hair after shampooing and conditioning in the shower or bath to help remove soap residue that can contribute to your oily hair. If you've poor styled, all treated or all colored your hair, opt for one of the best hair masks for your hair type. 